This week I'm up on Lake of the Woods and this is probably one of the greatest destinations in the United States for big pike in the spring right when they get done spawning. Stay right where you're at. We're going to show you where and how to catch them this week on Fish Ed. Oh boy, <laughs> this is, when you get into a pike that's all tuned up after the spawn like this guy, these things, what we're doing right here, you can see them out there, look at the size of this fish. You gotta keep, you gotta stay tense on them. Can't let them have any slack. A fish like this gets any slack and he'll be gone. Look at that, that's a 40 inch plus fish right here. Let's see if we can get this guy in here. Look at the size of that pike fish is all beat up from the spawn and we're fishing. Look at that. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's a sore arm. <laughs> my right arm is sore from that, or my left arm is sore from that fight, just hanging onto that fish. But this thing right here is a fish that came out of Lake of the Woods and it came up in here. It, we're actually in Zippo Bay right now. And what it did is it came in here to spawn, but it doesn't stop here and spawn. What she does is she goes all the way up into the, into the drainage ditches up around the Williams area. And this happens all along the South Shore of Lake of the Woods, anywhere there's an inlet. Now Zippo Bay is one of the most popular ones, but what's great about this area is when these fish come in, they come in, they do their business, they spawn way up in the creeks. And they do that right after ice out. They actually sneak in here when there is still ice on the lake. There's still ice out there right now, in fact. That's when they sneak in here. But then what they do is they hang around in here for just a couple days after they spawn. And I'm gonna reach down and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real careful with this fish. You can see how beat up this pike is. This is, a, this is a true trophy fish. This is a 40 inch fish. And what's, she just got done spawning. Oof. That's why you wear this glove. This fish got turning. She's got a treble hook in her, and she got turning. If I wouldn't have had this glove, I'll tell you what, I would have a fist full of treble hook. There we go. Let's get this thing unhooked, and I'll show her to you, and we'll get her right back in the water. All right. Look at that pike. That is a true trophy Lake of the Woods fish. That's somewhere in the neighborhood of 38 to 40 inches, but you can see how beat up she is, and we're not gonna keep her out of the water long, but that's all from the spawn. Okay, that fish has been up in the creeks, and she's spawning. Let's get her back in the water, and I'll explain a little bit more of this to you, because this is a, a bite that you can actually come and do yourself, and I mean, remember, look at that. We're in United States water. That is one of the few, this is one of the few places you can go in the United States and catch fish like that. And what's really cool about it is you can put a boat right in the water and come and do this. There's another boat down there doing the same thing we're doing today. There's true trophy fish here and there's eaters. Along the way, you'll get some of those fish that are under 30 inches that you're gonna eat. That's a great way to start our day though. Let's get another one. That's just too exciting. My adrenaline's still going. That fish we just caught, she's coming out of this bay right now and what we're looking for is some neck down areas and that's what we're in right now. This bay necks down and it heads out to the main lake right here and that makes a huge difference. But there's one other thing about this spot that's special. We're sitting on a spot where there's a little bit of a hole and I know it doesn't seem like a lot because it only goes down to five feet. I'm surrounded by three to four feet. But here's the thing, that little bit is enough to make a fish stop, rest, think about eating because ultimately there's not a whole lot else in here and they're not gonna go back out on that lake until that ice starts to move away from the shoreline because right now this is the warmest water, it's the easiest place to eat and it's the easiest place to rest. So keep that in mind, look for those things. Neck down area in a hole and what you're gonna find right there is a spot that's gonna hold a whole bunch of pike.
I don't think this one's as big, but <laughs> it just goes to show you, look at that. There's a little guy. There's all kinds of sizes of these things in here though. What's really cool about this fishing is they're just a ton of fun to catch. But this one here, wow, hang on a minute here. Let's get him in here. This one here is gonna make a great dinner fish. And I'll tell you, I'm gonna do something that's gonna be pretty cool when we go in. I'm gonna have Nick Painovich here at Zippel Bay show everybody exactly how to debone one of these pike because they eat great. And you know what? You go fishing in a, in a situation like what we're in right here. There are pike this size in this bay, so you can have a nice meal. Or, there are pike the size of that one we just let go a few minutes ago in here. So it's just a ton of fun. And you may as well eat good with a few of these because there are tons of this size fish out there. And that fish eats great. So we'll show you exactly how to debone them when we head in tonight. And you're gonna enjoy eating these fish as much as I do. <laughs> Oh, get off. Is he still there? No, he's still there. He just swam straight at me. You know, part of it is he's just not a real big one. Oh, there he goes right there. You know, the equipment I'm using, it's a perfect time to show you after I lost that fish right there. It is really, really simple. This is a Phil Big Fish slider. It comes in a whole variety of sizes, and there's a couple different ways I fish this. You'll notice that sometimes it's laying on its side and sometimes it's standing up, okay? I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that and why I do that. But first, let me show you the, bus the business end of this thing. A couple, uh, I, I use a rubber core sinker. They're really simple. When I cast them, they stay in line. They don't get twisted up as often on me. Then I just come down to a barrel swivel and I'm using an 80 pound leader. Now I'm using a fluorocarbon leader. You could use a wire leader too if you want, but a fluorocarbon leader, I just feel like in this, in this really clear spring water, there's not a lot of runoff, the, the snow melt is done. Everything's clearing up. I, I really feel like this just looks more natural. Then I just run a treble hook down here, okay? Now all I've done is clip that treble hook right onto that leader, but to be legal in Minnesota, I need to have a spinner down there too. So I've got a Lindy spinner on this end of it. Now what I'm actually doing is at times you'll see this bobber laying on its side. And what I'm doing then is I've got the bait laying on the bottom. And a lot of times these pike, they want it on the bottom. They want it just sitting still because they're not super active yet. They're cruising, they're moving slow. They're not on the big feed yet. They're not tearing it up. So I'll just lay that bait on the bottom. And what happens a lot of times, and what happened with that little guy I just lost, is all of a sudden that bobber popped up. And it's because he picked it up, swam around with it a little bit, and it got to the knot and it lifted it up. That's how you know there's a fish on at that point. Or sometimes it'll just pull and it'll actually pull it down. The other way you can fish it is, you know, a foot or two off the bottom. But now in the, in the water I'm in today, you're only talking halfway down the water column. Okay, now there are times that that's gonna be more effective. I'm probably gonna do that more often in the mornings as the afternoon wears on. Like today, I'm gonna to lay it down on the bottom. But when I've got it out there, see, you know, the bobber will just stand up. It's real easy to see, and you detect your bite by the bobber going down at that point. So two different ways to fish it, but this still big fish slider is the way you wanna do it. It's got the brass grommet in the top, makes it easy to cast it a long ways. Real simple setup, catch this fish. Well, after 36 years on Zippo Bay, I think Nick Painovich might know a little bit more about cleaning a pike than most of us ever dreamed about. So we're gonna head in and he's gonna show you exactly how to do it. Let's go, Nick. You bet. And normally I take both fillets off the fish and then throw the skeleton and the head away, just so it's out of my way. So I typically do that first. So all, you, all you're doing is going right down along the backbone. Exactly, just like you would a walleye. Okay. I do the other side. You'll pick up some of the fins if you're not careful. So I cut above the fins so I don't pick those up when I remove the fillet. I leave them attached at the tail and I'll break that off and get that out of my way. Next, I remove the ribs, get those out of the way, do it on the other side. And all you have left are the Y bones. I feel the Y bones, they lay upside down from the loin down, they're laying in here upside down. So I cut on the top side 
of the Y bones. And they go down about two thirds down the fish. Then I fillet along the top side of the Y bones. And I fillet them almost through the top of the loin, but not completely. Then I run the knife down the lateral line, not all the way through, just about halfway through. Envision the Y, the y being in there upside down. And that'll allow you about halfway through the fillet to get underneath that Y bone and uh, remove it. You know, it, this fish right here, this fillet will taste just as good as any walleye out there. And so many people overlook the fact that Northerns taste great. So you know what? Don't just come up here and go fishing for those big ones. Keep a few of these for dinner too. We're gonna actually get this other side done. We're gonna head down, we're gonna bread these, fry them up and have some dinner. For more current and up-to-date information, check back with us next week on Fish Ed. I'm John Thielen, we'll catch you next time.